hello guys welcome to my channel this is the 27th tutorial in this course and uh, this is going to be a very small and sweet tutorial hopefully and uh, what we're going to discuss uh, are cursor properties so you know um, I've got a very small uh, document opened up in my text editor notepad plus plus it's called cursor.html and in this file uh, you can see that I do not have uh, you know much in the style section I have uh, you know few properties applied to the h3 level heading as well as uh, you know the paragraph element so I've changed the font style of the h3 level heading to italic and then I have uh, you know changed the font size and the font style of the paragraph but you know that's not what this tutorial is about we have to move over to the body section to check out you know what's going on here so uh, as you can see in the body section I've got you know couple of headings and then I've got you know bunch of paragraph elements and uh, these paragraph elements have some text and uh, they also have inline style rules and uh, you know I have used the cursor property you know and I've used a bunch of different values to you know see the different kind of cursors that we can create using CSS so let me go to my browser and uh, show you the output of this file and then we'll come back to this file and uh, you know go through the code so when you open the file in uh, Google Chrome this is what you get so you know this is the result of the first heading this is the result of the second heading and then you know we're going to see some cursors so the cursor is basically the pointer that you see so right now you can see something like an arrow right and uh, this is also the default cursor but uh, if I would go to the crosshair cursor you know the text that says crosshair cursor you can see that you have uh, a cross you know and uh, this is more like an X inverted by about 90 degrees and then uh, if I move down to the classic hand point pointer I see the hand pointer you know this is uh, something that you see mostly with links you know uh, something that you can click on or something on which you're supposed to click and then uh, if I move to the move cursor we see this thing and uh, this is something that you would usually see on objects that can be dragged and dropped from one section of the screen to the other and uh, then if I move down further to the weight cursor we see the classic weight cursor in Microsoft Windows I don't know if you know you would see the same thing in Mac you know probably something else but uh, I'm sure you guys are familiar with this and uh, then we move to the eye shaped cursor which is you know uh, something that you would see on text anyway so you know even if I would take it uh, take the pointer on the first heading or the second heading you know you would see the eye shaped cursor because these are text uh, objects and then lastly the help cursor uh, in which you see the default cursor with a small question mark as a subscript or something right so the way you create these cursors is by using the property cursor right and uh, if you wanted uh, you know this to be applied uh, to the paragraph element here you could do that as well but uh, I used inline style rules because I wanted to demonstrate all uh, cursors to you without really typing in any code so you know I already have all these statements and uh, I just opened the file and showed the output so you know these are the values so for default cursor the value is default for crosshair cursor the value is crosshair for the classic hand pointer the value is pointer for the move cursor the value is move for weight its weight for the eye shaped text cursor its text and for the help cursor its help you know pretty straightforward there's nothing complicated about cursors in CSS and um, that's it for this tutorial I'm gonna see you in the next video in which we'll uh, continue our discussion on CSS properties and I hope you guys had fun watching this one. You may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you soon. Till then, take care.